Welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Pastor Steve Leon. Pastor Floyd Anderson is our visitation pastor at Victory. He's a good friend, a great colleague, an unsung hero of our staff. Floyd is over 80 years old, and I kid him that he's been a pastor since God was a boy. You rarely see Pastor Floyd up front. Rather, he mingles quietly among those coming and going to worship, talking to first one and then another, asking about their health or the well-being of a loved one. And then day in and day out during the week, Floyd visits in homes and hospitals and nursing homes, checking on, praying with, and bringing communion to those who can't make it to church. To say that he is a beloved pastor is a gross understatement. He's adored by so many. Last Sunday, I went into Floyd's office before worship to just ask how he was and enjoy some small talk with a friend. He happened to mention that his fool atomic clock had automatically advanced the time one hour, even though we don't observe daylight savings time in Arizona. Consequently, Floyd was up an hour earlier than usual. While we were talking, he mentioned that his clock projects the time on the ceiling, so all he has to do, even in the middle of the night, is to look up. That's when I remembered a line from my late father, also a well-loved pastor and also named Floyd. My dad had a few phrases that he used so often that they were habitual and always predictable. And one of them was a line he often said to just about anybody when they were parting. It was his way of encouraging them and speaking a word of hope. Frankly, I can hear him speaking it even today. He would say, keep looking up. When Pastor Floyd mentioned that he had only to look up to see the time, I thought of my dad, what he often said. And then I thought of a more important yet uncannily appropriate word from the Bible. Jesus was describing what would happen in the end times. And then he said this in Luke 21, 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Somehow I think Pastor Floyd's clock and my father's line could be a great reminder for us to keep looking up. We'll not only perceive the time and the lateness of the hour, but we will also see the one who lives beyond time, Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Please join me in prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are our Lord and our Savior and that we can always look up and to see you looking down at us, smiling, delighting in us, rejoicing in who we are. We pray that you would remind us to keep looking up to remember the shortness of the, t- of the day and the lateness of the time, and to cherish you in our hearts as we walk through this day. We pray these things in your holy and precious name. Amen. Thanks again for joining me for these moments of daily hope, my friends. I hope you'll keep looking up today and remember that you are loved and you are never alone.